the graphs are only as good as they can be because your customers get to see them. In order to get those graphs to your customers, you're going to have to print them. This video shows you the two ways that you can print those graphs, either to a digital format or on paper. So when it comes to printing the graphs, I wanted to show you guys a couple different ways and a couple different options. Now the easiest way, especially if you're on the PC, is going to be to click this button here that says print graphs. This allows you to select whatever graphs you want to um, and go ahead and print them. Now this on a PC opens up the option of how do you want to print them, what printer you want to send it to, and you can use Primo PDF or a different PDF printer if you want to send it to a digital format. On the Mac, it doesn't quite do that yet. Um, when you select your graphs here and hit OK, it will send it directly to your standard printer, whatever your default printer is. Now, if you do want to do it as a PDF on the Mac, there are some other workarounds that are pretty awesome for doing that. And I'm going to show you those here in one second. But first, I also want to touch on one other thing on the Mac that the PC allows you to do that the Mac does not. Uh, right now, you can't select different options here. Either you select a grouping together or only one. So we're working on that and we will soon hopefully have a fix for that, but that's something that Microsoft Excel um, in the Mac kind of marriage is not working very great right now. So let me show you the other option. The other option you can do is you can either do every graph by itself, doing um, command P or file print. And that opens up this window here that allows you to go ahead and print whatever printer you want to, or you can save as a PDF. The other option, if you want to do multiple graphs at the same time and kind of save a little bit of time as well, is you can select multiple tabs. Um, you can select all of them if you hit shift, or if you go ahead and just hit command, you can select specific ones. So if I wanted to print these three, now I can do this, go ahead and print that, and then when I go to print that now, it'll be all three of those graphs, as you can see here, and I can still save that as a PDF. Now, one of the other cool things we can do with this, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PDF just to my desktop, just to go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, I'm going to call these the patterns example. Save that to my desktop. And I'm going to also go and go to pricing and go ahead and print this basic looking scattergram and save that as a PDF to my desktop as well called the scattergram. Now, one thing that kind of is awesome about the PC version when you click this print graphs, when you save it to a uh, PDF printer or when you print it from the printer itself, it's all together. Now obviously doing it on the Mac is going to be slightly different. So in order to do this, minimize all these windows here, you find that these two PDFs here, if you select both of them and then right click or two finger click, under quick actions here there is a thing that's called create PDF. And when you click create PDF, this will allow you now to have this one that is automatically created that joins all of those together into one report. Now this is really great in order to print multiple graphs. And also when you go to compile and bring in your cover letter or any other um, MLS sheets that you've saved as PDFs, it's very easy to do to right click and, and bring them together on the Mac. Hopefully this video helps you with printing. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that we're always working on making it easier for you, but at the time being, this is the kind of the, the best way to do this, to print these, have them as PDFs or have them print out on paper.